hello everybody welcome back to another video today we're looking at the puppet master series of uh, figures by NECA right now there are three two packs what? They, they yes yes they do come in two packs it's very nice and uh, yep I have three of them right now but they are releasing the actual trunk that you see in this photo and leech woman you, um, if you haven't seen these series of movies you probably are very confused um, I can understand that you know I suggest watching the puppet master movies because they're kind of fun there's meant to be schlocky it's like straight to video like VHS type of shit B movie like whatever too many sequels so much fucking wild shit and yeah you, uh, you'll have a bit of fun watching it if maybe I don't, I don't know I don't know what your fucking tastes are first off let's uh, get into the box this is what the box looks like it, it, it's kind of meant to look like the trunk you can open it up and these are where the two figures would be displayed these figures um, once you get a hold of them right they actually are really small here's my Michael Myers figure he's uh, standing next to me they're they are pretty small um, I think they were smaller in the movies. I just think that um, it would have been impossible to, uh, you know, make them that small and actually be like poseable and usable and shit. But yeah, they are very small. So watch out for these little accessories that, that that they come with. Put Michael back to where he belongs. Just gonna set this here. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna set this here. All right. So first up, we have Blade. This one is probably my second favorite. You'll see who is my first favorite right now. Or not right now, but later. <laughs> but yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Like, this guy is like almost the size of my hand. It's very small. Pretty good articulation, though. It's not too bad. Very creepy looking guy. You can open his mouth. About like right there. Kinda. Yeah, just a little bit. That's, that's just stick in the movie. He opens his mouth and he has these little spikes in his eyes. Blade comes with an alternate head sculpt. Where he's, uh... Bloody, bloody looking. He's got his spikes coming out and you can open the mouth on this one too. He's very happy about who he's killed. And he gets this little uh, blood covered version of his blade. Uh, get it? Because that's what he's called. I just take it off. Be careful with these small accessories like I said. And just put him in. Boop. Now he has a bloody hand. And he's very pleased. Yes, sir. Next up, we have his torch. He is from Puppet Master 2. Um, this one, this guy's actually pretty cool. This guy just looks kind of crazy. You can see um, he's double jointed, which is pretty cool for a small little figure like this. Let's see if I can get him uh, to his full potential. His mouth can open too, but once you uh, turn his head, it kind of wants to close, and you might not want to do that too much. So. Just open his mouth like that, and it should be fine. And uh, he only comes with one accessory, which is his flame. You can't have Torch without his classic flame, so you just put it in there. And now, he's fucking flame throwing. Like he boiled, he literally killed a child. So do something! Cam, come on! He killed a child. He makes weird noises too. But look, look at this. Alright, let's move on to the next figure set, which is Tunneler and Pinhead. So you might be asking yourself, why is uh, this character called Pinhead, by the way? You can tell uh, he's, he's, um, you know, he's got Pinhead. Alright, Pinhead, your time is up. Who you call him Pinhead? Why he's on the ground. Well, you can never get this guy to stand up. Like, it's, it's impossible. You, like, you're just better off having him lean against something. And you may be asking yourself, well, why, why don't they have, um, you know, the NECA stands? Well, like, you know, I thought you had a plenty of them. These guys, they don't have any fucking holes in their shoes. <laughs> that is what frustrates me most about this set is, like, the posability. Like, the, the way you get them to stand is, like, luck-based. And you just gotta, you just gotta feel it out. So, if you want to get this set... Oh, there he goes. If you want to get this set... Lean, lean this guy against something. He is not going to stand on his own. We're looking at Tunneler first. This guy looks like a, a, like a war guy. The, the lore of Puppet Master gets crazy. I really won't get into it. I just suggest you watch the movies. But um, yeah, this guy makes puppets and they kill. 
that's all you need to know. You can turn his little drill. You know, he's, he's got that classic, I'm going to drill you face. <laughs> he comes with a bloodier head with him, with him squinting. Looks very nice. A pickaxe. A machine gun for some reason. I don't really remember when Tunneler had a, a machine gun, but... Yeah, he has a machine gun. And his uh, little machine gun holding hand. I think I'm just going to display him like this with his little pickaxe. And there he is. Now let's look at the big man, Pinhead. This guy, like, this figure is actually, like, really cool and detailed. Like, even with this small little face, you can just see all of the detail. He, he's got the this little part where you can get him to look around pretty good. He's also double-jointed, which is also very nice to get him in very cool poses uh, by the way this guy likes to beat women so watch out for him he's got uh, one other uh, grabby fist I just have him with this other holding one this hand is another holding hand I think it's for the yeah it's for the fire poker or the hook and a nice little little uh, fire poker very cool cool little wrench some uh, what looks like fishing hooks on a string or that and this little bottle of serum which is uh, basically the what makes the puppets alive this is this is what happened. The thing is, let me just zoom out here. Get this on the thing. The bottom is not uh, flattened, so if you're going to display it, you're going to want him holding it or put it in something. But uh, yeah, that, uh, that there's a a weird thing to do. I just wish this guy would stand up a lot more, man. Watch out when you're exchanging this guy's hands. This is a uh, loose end. I mean, it shouldn't come off like, you know, like just shake it off, but just make sure you don't lose it. All right, now let's get into the final. Well, not really final, considering we have another one coming. Uh, latest one that we have is Six Shooter and Jester. All right, here we have Six Shooter and Jester. This is probably one of my favorite packs um, and maybe the most troublesome because you can see, you know, this guy's Six Shooter. He's a well-equipped man he's got six arms which uh probably mean need a lot of hands and a lot of guns and and whatnot well he comes with exactly six guns all the look all looking actually pretty cool this is a very well designed character and uh, in the movies he's actually pretty menacing maybe a little bit funny to some he just kind of look he just kind of sounds like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Fucking he fuck climb he's a little he's a spider, he can climb up walls. <laughs> but yeah, the, he's also got holsters, uh four holsters right here and two on the back. See? And you can put them in there. His hat is removable and uh it is like the hats do like not really stay on very well so you're just gonna have to just be careful he, his bandana is loose so if you really wanted to have him raise it up but it probably wouldn't look right from a distant from uh, the side per, per like perspective right here so I want to display his grin ah see that's what happens he comes with six of each of these little resting hands and it comes with the uh, a holding hand another holding hand I think this is just for uh, like uh, other things right here we have my favorite figure Jester this guy is so cool but the thing is again his hat is so loose it would just fall off like the fuck man but still this is my guy this is one of my favorite characters um, you can see he has slits in his face um, originally for this character they were going to replicate the movie where he spins his face in different directions and it changes his expression. But it's such a small figure that it would just be kind of just, you know, it would be weird. So they didn't, they ended up not doing it. Which I'm okay with, it's the fest fine, it's okay. For his accessories, he comes with this gnarly mallet, little scalpel, which I'm assuming that, you know, since Six Shooter came with that, uh, and Six Shooter can hold this. He comes with a scepter, smile, and frown, smile, frown, smile, frown, two little lily bitty hands, and a surprise expression and a little sad expression, he's so sad. This guy is also, um, 
double jointed, which is awesome. I love doing double jointed. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I like these figures. They remind me of when I was watching these movies when I was a kid, when I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> and there we have it. There's all my figures. I can't wait to get the new one with the box and the leech woman. Very cool looking. Very, uh, Jester is probably my favorite. And I don't know what the next poll will be in terms of figures. It'll probably be Halloween, Michael Myers, and my Mezco figures. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching. If you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, dislike it. You're not obliged to. And uh, this guy will see you in the next video. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>